Hey everyone, I'm Shane Bernal, your Southern California Realtor. Are you considering a move to the booming city of Menifee, but want to know the bad that goes along with all of the good? Well, keep watching, and by the end, if you're still considering a move to Menifee or any of the surrounding areas, click the link in the description below to schedule a phone call or a Zoom meeting so we can discuss your situation in more detail and provide you with the best service possible. Menifee has grown significantly in recent years, attracting people from all over that are looking for a great place to live with affordable home prices. Menifee and the surrounding areas have a lot to offer, but there are definitely some things that you should know before moving out this way, and here they are. The first thing you should consider before moving to Menifee is the heat. This is a big one for me because I do not like being hot. Granted, we're not talking Palm Springs or Phoenix hot, but Menifee with its desert-like climate does get hot during the summer months. Personally, I think that August and September are the worst months of the year in regard to the heat, so unless you absolutely love being outside when it's 90 degrees plus, you'll definitely want to find some indoor entertainment, especially on the really hot days. On the plus side, it always cools down at night, even on the hottest days in the summer when it hits 100 during the day, it'll cool down into the 70s at night. Pools are a very nice bonus for the hot summer months. The next thing that might not work for you in Menifee is that there are not many large company employers. There are certainly a lot of employment opportunities in Menifee, but not any major company headquarters or large scale operations. Many residents here commute to some of the larger surrounding cities or embrace the work from home lifestyle. There are also a lot of retirees and retirement communities in the area that are not affected by this. One of my personal favorite 55 plus communities in Menifee is the Oasis. It's absolutely amazing and we'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. If scenic hills, greenery, mature landscaping, and panoramic view lots are on your wish list, Menifee's flatter terrain might not be the perfect fit. It does have a bit of a desert-like feel to it, and a lot of the homes are newly built, so you're not going to find a lush green environment surrounded by tall trees just yet. If affordability is something that you're looking for, prices have risen significantly in Menifee over the last few years, as they have across the country. So Menifee isn't as affordable as it was a few years ago, but when considering a nice place to live in Southern California, it's still definitely one of the most affordable options. Next on our list is infrastructure. If you don't want to deal with the typical growing pains of an up and coming city, namely the road construction and in some cases a temporary lack of sufficient lanes and traffic lights, there are and will definitely continue to be some of these issues in Menifee as the powers that be play catch up with expanding the roads and adding traffic signals. If you're wanting to be really close to the beach, then Menifee might not work for you. You'll be about an hour and a half drive to Dana Point for an Orange County beach and a little over an hour to Oceanside, which is a San Diego beach. It's easy to take a day trip to the beach, which is especially nice during the hot summer days. But if you're looking to settle down somewhere that you can smell the salt water in the air, you're going to need to look a little further west and have a much bigger budget. Another thing to be aware of is that if you're looking for extensive shopping and want to have a mall in town, you will not find that in Menifee. That being said, the Temecula Mall is only about 20 minutes away and has just about every store imaginable. And there is a very large shopping center in Menifee with all of your big box stores, lots of shops, and several places to eat. And if you're looking for multi-million dollar, super high-end neighborhoods, then Menifee probably wouldn't work for you. There's definitely a family-friendly, casual vibe in Menifee with many really nice neighborhoods that we'll also put links in the description for like Audie Murphy Ranch and the lakes, but you're not gonna find exclusive estates here. If that's your cup of tea, we'd be happy to show you some homes in the neighboring cities of Marietta and Temecula. And there you have it. We've helped several families with relocating to Menifee and they are really enjoying it. If you're considering buying a Menifee or any of the surrounding areas and this video didn't scare you away, we'd love to help you. Don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions and be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this, our community tours, and our monthly housing market updates where we keep an eye on prices and other important market trends. We look forward to connecting with you soon and helping you find the perfect home in the perfect neighborhood. Thanks for watching.